Muhammad is supposed to be in the Bible yeah. and Muhammad is in, not in the Bible. So why, 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 why? Uh, I come up with the idea, Bible has been corrupted. That's the kind of my take on. Listen, Quran expressed itself in Surah 11. It is well detailed, well explained in everything. If it is corrupted, I think Allah had great opportunities to express that. Where it is corrupted, when it is corrupted, how come Allah is not capable to protect his book? Right. Like lots of lots of serious questions Muslims need to answer. You know what I focus on? But I'm, I want to read you something. Okay. Since you asked the question of what is the difference between my God and God of Islam? <laughs> uh, would you like to do some reading? Reading is good. No, I'll, I'll let you do the reading at the moment. Thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> stop, stop me if you don't understand what I am reading, okay? So, I give you some kind of facts regarding the character of God. Yeah. What is the difference between God of Islam and God of, God of Christians? But I want to read the heart of God to you so that you know actually what is unique with my God. Okay? Since you kind of identified yourself kind of agnostic who is close to Christianity, start kind of ending up in church recently. This is Hosea chapter 11. When Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt, I called my son. But the more I called Israel, the farther they went from me. They sacrificed the bowels and they burned incense to images. It was I who taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by the arms, but they did not realize. It was I who healed them. I led them with the cords of kindness, with the ties of love. I lifted the yoke from their neck and bent down to feed them. So, not okay. You shouldn't be saying okay at this stage. You should be saying like, wow. So God is calling his people. People are running away from God, but God still doesn't give up on his people. I want you, I want you. And then people go and then sacrifice to the idols. God still says, I want you. I still want you. He, like it says, like, it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by the arms. Like, if you imagine, like, as a, like, think like you got, I don't know if you've got kids or not, but like, someone in your shape has a kid, and then kid is like that little, you are trying to hold the fingers of the kid, hands of the child, so you are helping child to take the one first step, second step, third step. So that's the image. It was I who taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by the arms, but they did not realize. It was I who healed them. I led them with the cords of human kindness, with the ties of love. I lifted the yokes from their neck. Will not they return to Egypt? Or will not Assyria rule over them? Because they refuse to repent. Swords will flash in their cities, will destroy the bars of their gates, and put at the end of their plans. My people are determined to turn from me. Even if they call to the Most High, He will not mean them. He will, he will by no means exalt them. How can I give you up Ephraim? How can I hand you over Israel? How can I treat you like Edma? How can I make you like Zeboim? My heart changed within me. All my compassion has arise. I will not carry off my fierce anger, nor will I turn and devastate Ephraim. For I am God, not a man, the Holy One among you. I will not come in wrath, they will follow the Lord. He will roar like a lion. When he rolls, his children will come trembling from the west. They will come trembling like the birds from Egypt. 
like doves from Assyria, I will settle them in their homes, the castle. Doesn't matter how much you run away from me, doesn't matter how much you refuse me, I will pursue you. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, okay, sir, minutes. sir, it's Hosea chapter 11. Yeah. Please read it. Okay, let me take a picture of that. I have to go with those guys. I came with them. That's one? That's been great. Thank you okay. so much. So God wants to come and dwell with his people, even though people want to reject him. He says, what else I can do to help you to turn to me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that God wants you. Yeah. Thank you very Check much. Check it out. Hopefully yeah. see you again. Definitely. See you later. God bless you. Uh, 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 that was a rubber. Yeah, we finished. What rubber was that? What we finished, brother. You came too late. When did, what happened there? When did you step there? Uh, maybe like about 15 minutes before you finished. Uh, so also a conversation about what we so, to learn. Uh, we were talking about... Um, he was trying to figure out what is the difference between God of Islam and God of Christians. So we talked about uniqueness of God of Christian scripture. We identified God of Christian scripture is unique because it's triangle, Father, Son and Spirit, three persons in one being. We talked about while Christian God is unique, Allah is, uh, while Christian God is triangle, God, Allah is one being and needy and lonely. We did talk about uh, one of the difference between Christian God and Islam. God of Christian scripture has a son and that son came to in this broken world and give himself for us versus Allah doesn't have a son and Allah did zero for humanity. We talked about how Christian God is relational. He wants to come and dwell with his people in the garden. He was with his people having fellowship and at the end he is going to have fellowship with his people uh, versus Allah is not relational Allah is not going to dwell with his people in paradise we talked about how Islam uh, what else we talked about uh, I don't think I mentioned I can't remember if I mentioned it but God of Christian scripture is identified as holy he cannot tolerate sin versus Allah is quite happy with sin also, uh, what else? We talked about how God of Christian scripture suffers. Lord Jesus Christ on the cross took the punishment of humanity on himself versus Allah doesn't suffer and doesn't understand anything about it. So in conclusion, Allah is in not the same as Yahweh. God of Bible and God of Islam are different. And also we talked about how Islam preaches different gospel. Mess message of Christian scripture is based on we are sinners, we cannot get to God. God steps in and then comes to us. Heaven comes to earth. Lord Jesus Christ comes down and then gives himself for us so that we can go to him. Versus Islam is you need to do more and more and more. That's the message of Islam is do, do, do. Versus message of Christianity is it's all been done. Whatever needed to be done, it has been done by the Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, we talked about how Islam is message of succession our success for this world. Um, that was the kind of, I think, at the end I kind of wanted him to hear the heart of God, which God pours out his heart in Hosea chapter 11. Hopefully he will um, go and read it and then reflect on it. That's it. That's it.